guys, welcome to The Awakening and today I'm back in nature again. I've got my gloves today. <laughs> I'm going to be starting to, I've got my little spade that I got my presents. I'm going to be digging up the earth, pulling out the roots. So how am I going to be taking you from the darkness into the light today? What's something I felt like I wanted to talk about? Like, things have changed so much in the world, particularly for me, for a lot of people. And um, I'm not even checking likes and subscribers. I'm just happy that people are watching the programs that I'm putting out there. It makes my heart happy to know that at least one person or maybe two people will be getting a huge benefit or some kind of benefit from what I'm putting out there. And I suppose that's in a way shows us how much the consciousness is different uh, in some ways and how you can go from that darkness. By now, um, in the past, um, I would be checking my subscribers. Oh, I've only got one like. Or, Actually, I got 50 likes <laughs> for the program I put out with Charlie. Nearly 1,500 views. For me, that's huge. But... Um, I'm not, you know, it doesn't seem to make a lot of difference at the moment because it's that one person that watches something that I'm putting out there that may take off their mask, tear it up and throw it in the bin. <laughs> it's that one person that may decide I'm not going to go jogging with a mask because I may, it may be, the consequences won't be good, won't be good. It's that one person that is checking out something that I'm asking them to check out. It's that one person that we say in inverted commas is waking up. It's that one person that is asking how come Lauren is so balanced and happy and calm and not blowing up all over the place. I thought she had a serious mental health issue. So what's going on here? Why is Lauren doing so well? It reminds me of when, you know, again, going back to some of the worst times in the culture of my people, the Jewish people, you had good German people that would save Jews from the Nazis. You know, and they saved one family, one person. They saved one person. That person would go out there and create a whole family. Do you understand where I'm coming from? And that grows and then they create more and more and humanity grows and just because of that one good human being with a heart that saved their lives that's what I want moving on TV to be someone asked me today what would happen if you were offered a lot of money and someone wanted to take over moving on TV and I said well it's just that's not my consciousness yeah I'm very happy if they had a lot of money but they would have to abide by the ethics that we are. Every single one of you is unique. Every single one of you is a celebrity. Moving on TV is for each and every one of you. I made a program with a, a lady, a bird lady who feeds the birds when we were in High Wycombe one year because she is an enlightened soul as far as I'm concerned. She's feeding the birds. It doesn't matter who you are or what you are. So moving on TV is a vehicle that is counteracting the lies and the fear of the media. Moving on TV is growing gently and slowly and beautifully. Just like here is the connection of when I dig up the roots because <laughs> I got this lovely little... <laughs> so we were talking about the roots. I was going to be digging up and the roots, yes, I know what I was talking about. You see, the camera went off and I completely um, went a bit funny there because I forgot about what I was talking about. But now I know what it is. I did say the Moving On TV is a seed. It's a tiny seed that is growing in your heart, in the consciousness. It's a bigger than tiny seed because we're getting lots of views already and it's exciting. And sometimes, you know, all you've got to do is keep watering and that's what you're doing. You're nurturing, you're watering 
my consciousness is so different now that I've been doing this for 50 days. 50 days non-stop work every single day, every single day. That to me is the focus that you need to grow your dreams. So today I'm in the garden, I'm in the allotment and as you can see there's a lot of mess here. <laughs> so Lauren is going to be digging up the roots, taking out the mess, taking out the media, the mainstream, taking out the mess, changing ending the past patterns going from the darkness taking the roots out in order to create a new garden planting new seeds and little plants watering them and one of them is called moving on tv and that's the beauty of it guys that's what we do every single person is important you don't know how much you're going to affect someone's life if you do something nice today even to someone who isn't very nice to you you don't know how that's going to affect their life as i said people saved one person in the holocaust it, it, all over the world you get a person that goes out and takes a little kitten out of a dustbin and brings them back to life and feeds them and that kitten goes off and has lots and lots of more and more kittens and propagates the kitten the cat population which make us so happy and when you have a cat you'll know what that means and that's what we do so my my message to you today if it's one person 30 person 10 people whoever watches this I love you and I am so grateful that you're joining here and please pass down, subscribe, share and like. I've got some great things coming up but I don't know what's coming up and moving on TV. I am so excited. I'm sending the message out to interview everyone I can think of to make this a beautiful platform for all of you. Like I'm going to try my best to create a beautiful garden here and I don't have green fingers, Martin does and my mum did. So what I'm saying today, to take yourself from the dark into the light, even if you just smile at someone, like if, don't even think they like you, just smile at them. Because you don't know what that person's been through. You don't know what they're going through. If someone is not nice to you, the chances are they're not the happiest people on this planet. They're not. Because the only way that you can be unhappy is if it's unhappy in here. And today, of course, the miracle says all things, all things are echoes for the voice of love. So use everything that I'm saying, everything you hear, use everything that happens to you to find the love, to find why you're here, to find the mirror that is teaching you because we're all here to teach each other something. And just do something nice for someone because you don't know that person might go out and create the new prime minister that is going to save this world. You just don't know. Well, that's not going to happen because we're all doing it together. We're all the Christ consciousness. But I'm just giving you an example. Do something nice from the heart. Do what you love and send it out to the universe. That's it, that's the message today, taking you from the dark into the light. I got there in the end. I can't even remember what I was going to talk about when I started, but it led to that. The one thing that you do, the seed that you plant today, whether it's me digging up a garden and trying to do my best to plant a seed and see if it grows, and I'd be incredibly grateful if I did have something grow and actually because I've never nurtured anything as much as I am nurturing moving on TV and the human race and myself I love what I do I love it I, I watch my awakenings I watch Lauren do the awakenings that identity that I am and I am so proud of me I have found my place in the world and I'm happy now it's your turn and if you need me, contact me at movingontv1 at gmail.com. We'll do it together. I love you so much. Welcome to the awakening. And thank you, Martin, for holding the camera so that I don't have to suffer. Show them my beanbag. <laughs> Lauren comes here to do the gardening. <laughs> anyway, love you lots. 
you know where I am if you need me. Bye. Thank you. Lesson. This is another thing. I just a little codicil here. Lauren, sometimes the personality that I am struggles and tries to get these gloves on, right? Can't do it. Martin, who's got so much common sense, shows me. Lauren, you see what I mean? Sometimes you don't, it's right in front of you. The solution is right in front of you and it's easy. Stop struggling. <laughs> anyway, there you go. So I'm putting on my gloves now. I'm going to start to do a little bit of uprooting. And that's what we're doing in the world. We're uprooting all the dis-ease, all the, the things that we don't want. I haven't got a clue what I'm going to be doing. I mean, to me, I don't know what a root is. This is, again, very similar to life at the moment. What is a, a weed and what is a plant? What is good and what is bad? Who are the cabal and, and who are the good guys? <laughs> That's exactly what's going on in our world at the moment. Everything is mirroring. We don't know. We have to wait and see. I've got a clear, quite a clear idea, but not all the time. So you see, I've got to bring all of this up now and get right in there. <laughs> and uproot it. <laughs> there we go. So it doesn't grow back again. And when I do that, you can all cheer. There you go. Is there that the go. root? It is. Well, there you go. go. <laughs> Hallelujah. Woo. Okay. There's the roots, guys. That's what's happening in the world. We're uprooting the rubbish. We're uprooting the disease because there's no point just cutting this, is there? If we cut this, we've still got the roots. It's the same thing as glossing over everything that's going on in the world and just killing a few, you know, just getting rid of a few people. You have to get to the roots of what's wrong with society. That's what the therapeutic community did, Martin. You went in there and you got to the roots of what's really going on. That's why we, it works. Anyway, thank you very much for watching The Awakening. Love you lots, guys. I hope this is teaching you something. My first uprooted whatever. <laughs> Take care now. Bye. On part yes, three, I think, part three of the gardening project or gently moving into creating some kind of herb plant garden or something. Right, I've uprooted. What you've got to do now is if you've got to go around, you've got to take out all the roots because this is where we're going to be planting some plants and herbs. Okay, so I've done my first one. So I'll just show you very quickly. I'm going to, I've got my little spade. This is mine. Mm -hmm. Martin got it for me as a present and then you just literally you have to get the roots out because if not they're going to grow back again aren't they that's not what we want we want this to be there you go okay so you have to uproot quite a lot in order to create the garden so once I've done that this for example and I've uprooted all of this area here I've, I'm, I've basically got a space, haven't I? Where there's nothing, like the universe. Empty. Empty space to put something new. So what you do is you put, you're going to put some fertilizer, I presume. We're going to put some fertilizer. And then you put a plant. That's how I'm going to do it. So I'm showing you. I'm very, very, I don't know much about this. So I'm going to do it slowly, slowly with you. And we're going to see, hopefully, and we're going to get some results, I hope. Okay? I love it. Thank you. Hey guys, I keep thinking... Oh. I keep thinking of little codicils I can add on to today. And I'd say that another one here is... You start small, guys. You really do start small. I mean... This is a huge area. <laughs> I'm going to start small, just one tiny space here that I'm digging up, which you saw before. You start small, you start your goals small, you start them realistic, you know? Because if you look at this big piece of land and you don't know what to do with it, you start small. 
And the same with all your goals. You start small and you grow it every single day. You nurture. You take out the weeds. You get rid of what isn't working. And a garden is a really good analogy to life and everything, Like I think. It's a really good analogy here. This, <laughs> this is so much fun. This is like being on the beach. I'm going to turn the camera around. <laughs> It's like being on the beach, you know, <laughs> digging up sandcastles. I love it. But as I say, you start small. So this area is ready now, more or less. I'm, I just need to put fertilizer and I can put some seeds in here or I'm getting my stones out, taking the roots out as much as possible, getting the roots so that Whatever is here doesn't grow back. There's another one there I need to get out. And then, you know, you, you clean it up like, like life, like work, like relationships, like everything. You start small and then you put your fertilizer in there. Tiny space. When you see the whole space, look at it. That's going to be the garden.